You looking at some that they got it out the mud, baby. Got it out the mud, baby. We some mud babies. Mud babies. What's happening, YouTube? Let's get right into this. Now, I know I'm a little late to the party, you know what I'm saying? But I got the invite, you feel me, though? But now, look, hey, what I'm talking about is Rico Too Smooth out of Sacramento, California. And when I say I'm late to the party, I'm talking about how everyone else already did a video on this topic, on this subject that we have at hand. The artist, Rico Too Smooth, went to Chito Ranas' hood, the artist who's also allegedly from Sacramento. And there were about 50 deep, 50 Norteños in this dude Chito's hood making a music video. Now, he did not only just go to his hood to create a music video, but he also brought up Chito's brother who is no longer here. Now, if you guys don't know, Chito's brother's name is Jalisco and he was unalived in San Jose, California, allegedly by someone from the north. And this is all public knowledge. Everyone knows about it. And I see a lot of content creators upset at Rico Too Smooth for doing this. And it's obvious who these dudes are, bro. You feel me? It's obvious who these dudes are. But these same dudes like to claim to be an unbiased platform, right? See, that's why I have to get on here and say something. That's why I have to get on here and speak out because... These other dudes like to claim to be unbiased platforms, but then Rico Too Smooth does this. And remember, this is in response to what this fool's been saying since he got out. Claim to be unbiased, but when it comes to Rico doing what he did, went to Chito's hood, shot the music video, and then brought up Jalisco, Chito's brother, who is no longer here. They feel some type of way about it. Okay, you know, cool. But these same dudes had nothing to say at all, did not drop no videos or did not make no content when Chito was dissing Northerners that is no longer here. And remember, these Northerners that Chito Ranas is mentioning in his songs had absolutely nothing to do with Sereños, nothing to do with Southsiders. Same thing with that J-Cat that made that t-shirt. You feel me? You know the dude with all the tattoos on his face? It looks like a desk in detention everybody tagged on? Yeah, that dude. Same thing. The t-shirt he made had absolutely nothing to do with Southsiders. See, that's why these platforms are never really going to get anywhere because they're biased platforms, bro. It's like when they were in the Chicano rap. They couldn't break through through the mainstream rap because they were stuck in that Chicano bubble, bro. And now, they, and now they merged into the podcast game. They're going to be stuck in that same bubble, homie. Those are just facts. The same way the Southsiders were stuck in that Chicano rap bubble and couldn't break through through the entire rap scene, they're going to be the same stuck in that same bubble when it comes to podcasting because they're biased platforms. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You think Chito Rana's going to go to his hood and shoot a music video? I don't think so either. Let's go.